Honorable Ntapane. Madam Speaker, Deputy Minister, Honorable Members. During this debate last year, we complained about the proportional speaking formula in Parliament. We believe that the formula did not provide parliamentary opposition parties, especially the smaller ones, enough opportunity to add maximum value to parliamentary debates. Our argument was based on the fact that we believe that the complexity of the work of the institution should be reflected in the proportional formula that is applied to speaking times. Since then, there has been an improvement. We commend Parliament for this. However, we believe there is still more room for improvement on this matter. Madam Speaker, over the past few years, Parliament has invested resources in educating the public about the importance of its work and has taken steps to improve public access to it. We commend this important step as an increasing number of South Africans now understand the role and work of this institution. There was a big brahaha that is a loud noise in the media last month about the fact that Parliament spent 16 million on food privileges last year. Someone to an extent of describing this expenditure as a complete waste of money. However, if the reports that a major share of this budget went, to in, went into catering for taking Parliament to people program are indeed true, then the expenditure is justified. It is only people who do not understand the plight of the poor and the majority cities of this country who can find fault with Parliament when it spends its financial resources on the people. That said, nothing stops the institution from scrutinizing the expenditure in order to root out inefficiencies if there are any and to ensure that everything is above board. In conclusion, Madam Speaker, we call on Parliament to look into the issue of study tours and their value. Some of, the stores, some of the study tours seem nothing other than expensive holiday trips for MPs at the taxpayers' expense. Parliaments need to look into this matter. In addition, there is no clarity on which committees can go on study tours and why. That also needs to be addressed to Honorable Speaker. The UDM support this budget. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Dapan.